What up, YouTube? Big Lou, Big Louise Coach Review, back again with another review, and today we're here to do a little review on the Armageddon Manufacturing Hammer. That's right, this is a dual 18650, dual 2650, dual 2700 battery wielding mechanical tube mod, which can also be converted into a single 18650, single 2650, and a single 2700 mechanical tube mod. That's right, people. Pretty excited about this mechanical tube mod for a lot of reasons. A, it's fucking heavy. You know me, I love heavy mechanical tube mods, and this has got the weight, that's for sure. Now, it can lighten up if you use the leather sleeve that comes with this mechanical tube mod. It does come with a handmade, hand-stitched leather sleeve in a variety of assortment of colors as well, available at armageddonmanufacturing.com. But I gotta tell you, it's a great mechanical tube mod. You know, I got a lot of series. I got the Sicario, I've got my AV mods, I got my Comp Life mods. I got all these mods that I could put in stacked and series formation. But this one pretty much takes the cake for me right now. It's brass, it's heavy, and it matches perfectly with the Elite version 2 RDA. Now, I've had some issues matching this RDA up with certain series devices. Sometimes there's a little overhang on the RDA to the mechanical tube mod. Whereas this one has a seam, but it's it, it has no feel to the seam. There are seams on this mechanical tube mod, but it doesn't matter because there's really no feel to those seams. Now, the way I'm rocking it right now, I'm rocking it right now currently with two brass sleeves, okay? So that means the mechanical tube mod is 28.5 millimeters in diameter with the brass sleeves. It is a little narrower without the sleeves, but this, this comes in one, two, three, four, five, six pieces all together. You have your sleeves, you have your two tubes, you have your switch, and you have your 510 connection. Now, threads on this thing is just beautiful. Threads on here are just perfect, smooth, very nice flowing uh, threads on here. Very clean, very well manufactured. I mean, they did a great job manufacturing this mechanical tube mod, and I'm really, really enjoying it. You know, uh, Apocalypse has got a couple of the RDAs that's gonna look sick on this, which I placed an order for a couple more RDAs from Armageddon Manufacturing. So if you're in the market for picking up a sick stacked mechanical tube mod, it's right there, folks. This thing is fucking dope. I love Armageddon Manufacturing. I, you know, I, I love my AV mods and, you know, uh, I haven't picked up an HDNE mod yet. You know, maybe in the future if I could save up 600, 700 bucks, maybe I'll buy one if I got some money to spare. But I really don't at this point in time, you know. But this mechanical tube mod, definitely worth the money, definitely worth the time, definitely worth the investment. And we're gonna dive up close, we're gonna check it out, and we're gonna go from there. And then you're gonna have my final thoughts. All right, so here's our box that the hammer comes in. It is a rather large box. Armageddon Manufacturing.com's website is on the box itself. Down below, you'll see it says email Armageddon Customer Service at gmail.com and the Facebook address also Armageddon Vapes. Now, uh, nothing on the side, nothing on the side. Let's open this bad boy up, All right? Now we got this yellow sticky here signifying that this is the Naval Brass Edition. You open it up, there is a disclaimer here, and the disclaimer says this device is a series competition device and is not for beginners. This device can be dangerous if used incorrectly. Before purchasing this device, be sure you understand how to safely use this device, okay? And I take that very serious because there are people out there that may want this device but do not know their Ohm's Law correctly. So you do have to put a build on here with, you know, specific kind of gauge wires and specific amount of wraps and specific amount of diameters in your coils. And I'll show you what I have on mine. Now, once you remove your foam cover, 
it will reveal the mechanical tube mod and you will see it is series formation but it can be used in single 2700 2650 uh, and 18650 uh, single or series mode so i'll show you how to you know put it together in all of those modes now if we remove the mod put it over to the side remove our foam insert down below we'll have a riser this is a riser basically and you if you're using a 18650 this is a riser slash spacer and it is copper on one side and copper on the other surrounded by delrin so if in the event you have any battery rattle using 18650s obviously this will make up the space for the 18650. Uh, asides from the brass sleeves that we have on this mechanical tube mod, they also include this uh, handmade leather sleeve, which is made in Florida. All, all parts and pieces of Armageddon manufacturing products is all designed, made, and manufactured and distributed through the United States. Now, the reason why I find this to be so important is because, unfortunately, there is a company in China that has replicated the Armageddon apocalypse. They've cloned the apocalypse as well as the company. You know, sometimes you have companies that just clone a product, but this company in China has actually cloned the entire company, the logo, and the actual device. Because in China, there's no laws governing certain, you know, copyrights and trademark infringements and so forth so you know they literally copyrighted they literally copied his entire company and his product and they're selling defective rdas therefore what happens is when somebody gets a hold of a defective product that was made in china people are going back to the original owners in the United States. And the more screwed up thing is this cloned company in China is actually sending the client complaints to the original, the original company here in the States. So people are buying cloned devices from a cloned company in China and then taking their complaints to the original manufacturer and original owner of the company. So they're going to the authentic company with cloned devices saying my device doesn't work or it's broken and that he should warranty and repair the issues. And this is what he's faced with on a daily basis. So I really feel bad for the Armageddon company, the authentic original company that's dealing with all this chaos. So moving back to the product at hand, okay? If we were to look at the mechanical tube mod itself, it is a beautiful beautiful device i gotta say it is a very very nice device um, it comes with two sleeves and two tubes that fit into the center and at top and bottom it's got a hybrid 510 connection looking at the mod upside down at the switch area it'll say made by armageddon manufacturing and they got a set of brass knuckles on a fist basically so it's a pretty cool logo that's on the button of the switch itself. At the top 510 connection, you'll see that I have serial number OG22, and that is engraved in the top portion of the 510 hybrid area. Now, the design work is actually really cool. It, it resembles something Celtic to me. This looks like a Celtic ring at the 510 connection area. So it's a really nice engraving at the, at the rim or the top portion of the 510 area. I really, really dig it. I almost wish they had something Celtic engraved up top, but I actually like the cleanliness of it. And that same Celtic type of design is also down in the switch area as well. So it continues as for the bottom as well as the top. 
so it matches top and bottom. This really nice brass sleeve makes it really nice to grip and hold. It's very comfortable. It's not sharp. You would think it might be sharp, but it's really not. So the edges are very clean, very smooth, and it, it basically has a very nice grip. Now at the switch housing itself, you'll notice I have a copper contact with a threaded Delrin battery height adjuster. So if in the event you have battery rattle, you will adjust this battery height adjuster to eliminate battery rattle. It is ventilated, so therefore you also want to put the positive end of your battery facing the switch. And once again, the really cool logo at the bottom button. Taking it apart is really simple. Just hold the button because the contact is going to stay in place based on its design that sits in a Delrin. So just hold the button and then just spin the housing. It's held in by two beefy magnets, basically. So you want to, when you undo this, you want to make sure you're holding the button firmly. Looking at the button up close, you'll see that we do have a huge beefy magnet and inside it is threaded on the inside. So it is a female button. Basically you have a female shaft with a brass button with our logo sitting on the inside, sitting on the inside of the housing. You'll see that there is a magnet there, um, with this really clean, beautifully machined switch, very thick and very heavy very nicely designed. When you go to put this back together, you want to basically just, you know, make sure your finger is touching the front contact and then carefully thread this in little by little. Once you grab some threads, then you can actually just sit there and hold the button and spin the housing. And the threads will feed in. Very nice threading on the button shaft itself. You could thread it in to where it's recessed, where the button is recessed, or if you're the type of person to have a little longer throw, you could back out the button if you want, make it flush with the switch. I like mine to be all the way up in there, basically. So this is how I like mine to sit. Now the top 510 portion is removable and the threads are just beautiful threads and looking down into the 510 connection area, you will notice that there is a piece of Delrin that's lodged into the top portion of the 510. The reason why they do this, that if in the event there's any way that your battery is going to make contact in the wrong way, it's protected with this Delrin which is also ventilated Delrin if you chose to put your connection positive facing the RDA. If you wanted to vent from the top, it will pass the gases under that Delrin and make its way out the 510. If in the event you had a venting and if you put your batteries in positive towards the 510, the threads are just gorgeous. I mean, perfectly well-balanced, well-machined threads. The threads are just beautiful on this 510. Now, these are all the pieces that make up our mechanical tube mod into completion. Uh, we have two sleeves that are made of brass and they will sit on the outside of the tube. Okay, so these are just sleeves. You can get different sleeves as well. If you chose to get copper sleeves or any other color or design, you have the choice and option of getting different sleeves. But putting the mechanical tube mod back together again is quite simple. You have one tube, it fits into another tube, threads in beautifully, switch on the bottom. If you chose to use the brass sleeves, they will just slide on smoothly and perfectly and then you can connect your 510 connection up top and there you have it 
that's complete for series. If you wanted to do single battery, There you have it. That single 18650, single uh, 2650, or single 2700. Now, if you're looking to use the leather sleeve that comes with this mechanical tube mod, just understand that you're gonna have to douse the inside of the leather sleeve or the outside of your brass mechanical tube mod with a little baby powder. This way it could slide on gracefully without any struggles because this is leather. So therefore it is a skin and it's going to grab, even though this is a very smooth surface and is basically seamless, you, although you see a seam right here, you don't feel it. So although you're sliding it on there, you're gonna wanna dust it with a little baby powder to get the sleeve on to go on easier. But today I'm gonna to be rocking it with the brass sleeves because it is just very classy. Take my batteries, drop them in, positive down, positive down. Screw on my 510. There you have it. It's beautiful. So I'm going to be rocking the Elite version 2. RDA. Armageddon has got a lot of RDAs at this point. They got the Elite, they got the Apocalypse, they've got another one that's coming my way, which I'm going to be doing a review on shortly. But um, this RDA, the Elite version 2, sits very nicely on top. There's a visible... Uh, there's a visible space there, but it's, it's minute and uh, it still feels seamless, even though you could see a seam. It, I don't feel one, and that's nice, especially in the center where the two sleeves meet and connect. I don't feel a seam. I could see one, but I just don't feel it, and that's really nice. Now, I get asked on a daily basis, what's the best build to throw into a series device? Well, what I usually use to keep it safe and keep it roughly around a point 0.35 to 0 0.40 ohms. I use Canthal wire because it's not low resistance wire. It's just basically what vaping started out with initially as just being a wire or a heating element that will heat up your cotton and your e-liquid to vaporize it. Canthal is a great wire because it's, it's basically, it doesn't change the taste or the flavor of your juice. It doesn't intensify it or magnify it, but what it does is it just heats up your liquid and gets it going without changing any of the flavor of your e-liquid. Now my flavor of choice lately has been Killer Custard Strawberry by Vaptasia. That's badass right there. So there you have it. You've seen it up close. You've seen all the bits and pieces that make up this mechanical tube mod. And let me tell you folks, I don't know. This mechanical tube mod to me is probably one of the best stacked mechanical tube mods ever held in my hand. Copper contact in it is on point. The brass is on point. The fit and feel and weight of it is all on point. You know, I mean, this is just a sick mechanical tube mod. Highly 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 suggest you pick one up uh if you're in a market for picking one up you know they all have price tags to them they're all high-end mechanical tube mods but i'm telling you it's well worth it 
definitely worth it. Absolutely. This is a fucking sick ass mechanical tube mod. So from me to you to peace. Like, comment, and subscribe. As always, I'm out. Laters.